Good morning, or perhaps good afternoon or, or good evening, depending on where you are. Hello and welcome to the International Kleistra Syndrome Family and Scientific Conference. It feels pretty good to say. Even during these extraordinary times, and while we can't exchange handshakes or even potentially a hug, we are so highly encouraged that over 500 people have registered for today's event. Over 500 people from 37 countries and covering six continents, this is a true global effort. And it is represented by the fact that we have so many of you in attendance today. It's absolutely incredible. The show of support and interest has been at the forefront of our minds as we have planned out this conference. Ultimately, this conference is for you. For you, the researcher, for you, the clinician, for you, the family member or caregiver, and probably most importantly of all, for you, the person living with Kleefstra syndrome. As a brief introduction, I'm Ella's dad, Jeff Ryan. Ella is my vibrant three-year-old little girl with Kleefstra syndrome. She is the catalyst behind me becoming a co-founder and the CEO of iDefine. What matters most to me in life is being the best dad to my boys and my little girl. Ella is my why. I am here today because of her and all of those living with Kleefstra syndrome. Our program today is outstanding. We're gonna dive in and out of science and research, care and comfort and hope and opportunity. I'd now like to introduce my co-host for today, Dr. Mustafa Sahin, Director of the Translational Neuroscience Center at Boston Children's Hospital. Thank you, Jeff. And thank you all for joining the 2021 International Kleefstra Syndrome Family and Scientific Conference. As the director uh, of the Rosamund Stone Zander Translational Neuroscience Center here at Boston Children's, I'm honored to open this meeting in partnership with our friends at the IDefine at Kleefstra.org and our colleagues at Radboud University Medical Center in the Netherlands. I first want to comment on what IDefine has already achieved in the six months since its launch. Together with KidsIQ, KleefstraSyndrome.org and others, they have pulled together this community culminating in this global conference today. The attendance over 230 right now is, is incredible. In addition, they've reached their fundraising goal to support the Kleefster Syndrome Clinic here at Boston Children's within a matter of weeks. We're obviously very proud to partner with iDefine and look forward to working with them. iDefine's vision is to discover life-changing treatments and ultimately cures for individuals with intellectual disabilities coming from genetic disorders. Our vision at the Translational Neuroscience Center here is very similar, is to take the most rigorous basic science discoveries from the lab and take them to the patients uh, as soon as possible. We've started on this mission back in 2013, and since then, we've been working on removing the boundaries between basic scientists and clinicians, between departments and divisions, between academia and industry, to advance our understanding of these disorders and improve the lives of those affected by them. In that spirit today, we bring experts, including uh, Professor Kleefstra, clinicians and scientists uh, from all over the uh, uh, world working on, uh, on this disorder, as well as the Kleefstra syndrome community together. And in doing so, we're taking our first steps toward realizing our shared goals. Patient advocacy organizations these days are crucial uh, for pushing together the community toward research and toward treatments. We have representation here both in the United States and internationally from those organizations. And the voices of these families really help define our research priorities and inform us on how to better tailor the studies that we're gonna to do to meet the needs of the patients and their families. Today also marks the launch of the International Kleefstra Syndrome Consortium, which is supported by a grant from the Boston Children's Institutional Centers of for Clinical and Translational Research, also called ICCTR. This consortium brings together an international network of clinicians and researchers around the world, committed to sharing expertise in the best clinical management and research priorities for Kleefstra syndrome. With the generous support of the ICCTR and the hard work of uh, IDefine volunteers, especially Margot Metzger, 
we're able to print the uh, program booklets, which uh, you have hopefully uh, all received by now. Uh, finally, I just want to reflect for a moment on my involvement in child neurology. I started seeing children with neurological problems back in uh, 1997. Uh, over the nearly quarter of a century uh, uh, since that time, uh, child neurology has gone through an amazing transformation. We've moved uh, from being a discipline of describing symptoms, but really having little to offer, offer to our patients, to becoming a specialty where we are providing mechanism-based treatments for certain disorders, such as spinal muscular atrophy, uh, certain epilepsies, uh, including tuberous sclerosis. I'm extremely enthusiastic in 2021 about the possibilities for developing potential treatments for rare genetic disorders. And with that, it's my pleasure now to open this meeting. I welcome you all again and hand it back to Jeff. Thank you, Dr. Sahin. And I think it would, you're gonna be able to tangibly recognize that I share that enthusiasm throughout the course of the day. Um, before we get started with the incredible speakers, I wanted to just take a moment and appreciate this moment that we're in. At I Define, we like to say, enjoy the journey. And especially as parents and caregivers, it is so critical for us to take moments, pause, reflect, and be present. We have a lot to be thankful for. There has been an immense amount of effort put into the coordination of this conference. And to say that we feel gratitude as an organization or, and me as an individual would be a massive understatement. I hope, and to a degree, I fully expect to look back on this conference today as a true launch point of significant progress. At I Define, we spent the better part of the past year surveying the work being done in Cleavster Syndrome. And as an extension of that, we took a, a scope of the, the rare disease space as a whole. We've taken significant interest in benchmarking other organizations and determining best practices. Through our, throughout our development, and even now, we've been in touch and received consultation from both the teams at Kids IQ Project and CleavsterSyndrome.org. There are several shared learnings and a continuity to those efforts that have been ingrained in our effort. We've woven them into the fabric of what we're doing. We have spent this time to make sure we have a solid foundation from which to build upon. Our goals, they're focused on maximizing potential for our kids, collaboration, and building community. Now we must take this well-laid foundation and convert it into action. I'm a quote guy and you'll hear me say a couple of quotes throughout the conference. And there's a summarization of a quote by Gandhi that said, be the change you wish to see in the world. And while powerful, what he actually said was even more profound. He said, if we could change ourselves, the tendencies in the world would also change. As a man changes his own nature, so does the attitude of the world change towards him. We need not wait to see what others will do. That last line grabs me and it motivates me to push our effort forward. This is our approach. Let us take action. I believe that through sharing knowledge where we act as a conduit to bring information to the community and likewise, and as important, by the community bringing information to the clinicians, researchers, and medical professionals around the world, we will propel our effort forward. Let us bring together, let us facilitate, and let's dive into discussions that'll provide understanding and opportunity. I want to emphasize the incredible strength that we have within our community. We are so much stronger together, and to bring us all together at key points will be critical to the rate at which we can move forward. This conference is aimed at informing families to not just what is going on in the scientific and medical arena for Kleefster syndrome, but also to touch on some of those more granular components of what it specifically means for those living with Kleefster syndrome and their families. At the end of the day, we all wanna know, how does this relate to us? How does this relate to my child or my family member? And to that end, you'll notice in your program that each speaker summarizes their discussion with a section bringing it back to those living with Kleefster syndrome. Our aims have a dual purpose today to provide you insights into the daily lift required for being the caregiver, while also displaying the opportunities that are out there for us to join together, fight together, and pursue. With that said, let's begin in today's discussions. It is my pleasure to introduce you to Dr. Maya Chopra, 
Director of the Translational Genomic Medicine at the TNC.